At this point in the story, things get a little messy, and I don't have much documentation on it. I texted my manager at work, letting him know I just got hit by a car, and I wasn't sure what state of health I was in. He wasn't too sensitive about it. After a couple of days, my left leg still wasn't working right, so I called my car insurance company to file a claim. They said that since I was on a bicycle, they wouldn't cover me, and I need to contact the people who hit me to get their car insurance information and file a claim through them. So I called the police station to get a police report from the accident so I could get the insurance information of the other people. The police officer told me it was my own fault I got hit since I was on the wrong side of the road, even though there were no crosswalks for me to legally get on the right side of the road. The location where I was hit was the first place I would have been able to legally cross the street, and the roads were not painted well to even see where I could cross. The officer told me it was my own fault for getting hit and that I was lucky he didn't give me a ticket for riding on the wrong side of the road. I tried calling three different lawyers in town to see if anyone could represent me. Two never responded, and the third told me they could represent me, but wouldn't, because they were friends with the people who hit me with their car. It was then that I found out that the husband, who I think was actually the one driving, is a high school math teacher, so everyone in town knew him. That's why the cops didn't help me and told me that everything was my fault. Furthermore, when I called the police station to get the insurance information, the officer was chastising me because he had pulled me over in my truck two months previous to the accident for having the wrong license plates on my car, which wasn't even my fault. It was the fault of the DMV. The officer had pulled me over the same week I was moving out of the house and into the trailer, where I didn't have an address or know where I was going to live, and was paying $1,200 a month for an RV spot in a campground. The cop said to me, You told me when I pulled you over that you were moving to another state. Why are you still here? And I'd already put in my two-month notice for work to end at the beginning of October. I let my co-workers and manager know that I was injured, and they also criticized me, saying they didn't think I was really injured, that I was faking it. I was at that job for six months. The person who was hired before me for that position was only there for two weeks. I didn't really have any options, since I had just put $15,000 into trying to repair this trailer.